Okay, so hopefully a bit of fun content for you guys today. The first Prime Gaming Pack is now available, so if you have Twitch Prime, head over there, go to the loot page and make sure you claim your pack. Also, what dropped today was a Team of the Week uh, upgrade SBC, of which we are going to open five. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. I am also going to say straight away, I do not advise you guys to go out and complete this SBC. Save your fodder for a player that you are after, because this Team of the Week SBC is not really going to give out much, because it's a player from Team of the Week 1 to 5, and there's like... 10 players that are worth getting, so uh, yeah, your chances of getting someone good are extremely, extremely low. I'm literally submitting just untradeables, so uh, I don't mind doing it for the content, but if I was like, if I just wanted to build my ultimate team, I definitely would not be doing these SBCs. Okay, so we'll do the Prime Gaming Pack last, because that's probably going to be the most entertaining pack. Let's do some of these Team of the Week packs. Who am I actually hoping for? Um, an Inform Fio Hernandez I think would be pretty cool. Um, Son obviously would be incredible. Um, definitely want to avoid Locatelli because I know I've got him in my club. And we start with an 81 rated. Why am I talking about walkout players? We're not going to get any walkout players. What a waste of time. Um, I actually just want to pull up the informs on Footbin just to see who's actually worth getting. So Mane is your most valuable pick at the time of recording 750k. Then Salah, then Son, then Vinicius Jr. Uh, Gabriel Jesus is in there too. Kimmich. Fio Hernandez, Nico Brella, who I already have in tradable, so I don't want him. Uh, there's Benzema, Foden, and already we're under 100k. This market this year is just crazy, isn't it? It's just mental. Anyway, let's go again. Let's see what we get in Team of the Week, pack number two. In my head, I was like, let's do 10 of these. But you know what? I'm glad I didn't do 10. I'm glad I stopped at 5, because this is what we are going to be seeing a lot of. In the comments below, if you do do any of these Team of the Week upgrade packs, let me know what you got. But like I've said, I do not advise doing any. Save your fodder. Um, I don't know if we're getting a promo this Friday, but it looks like we're getting some Halloween theme stuff. So maybe save it and see what players come out there. Anyway, number three. Can it get any worse? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but can it get much better? There's certainly potential. Will it happen? I don't know. Can we get a walkout, please? Ooh, Brazilian. Oh. Got a bit excited. I thought could have been Gabriel Jesus, could have been Vinicius Jr., could have been Firmino, could have been Rafinha, Thiago Silva. Nope, none of them. An 81 rated forward who is a. Uh, how many games do you reckon he's going to play for me? Um, none, because he's going to get discarded. That's a shame. I already have him untradeable. So uh, the answer was zero already. The answer is almost certainly zero now. Anywho, number four. Come on. One of my favourite numbers. Can it be lucky for us today? No. Oh dear. Oh no, no, no. Like, uh, wow. I, I said, when we got a 78, I said, can it get much worse? But yeah, apparently it can. We got a 75. So uh, I'm glad I submitted an 83 rated squad for that. Yeah. This is rough. This is really, really rough. Okay. Here we go then. Final one. It actually can't be worse because we got the lowest rated. It's also not going to be a walkout either. It's going to be... It's going to be Wu Li. So, what did you make of my inform packs? They were good, weren't they? Yeah. Won't be doing any of them again. And, and I've said it like five times now. Please do not do them. They are... Like, you might see the odd person who's going to be like, Oh my god, I got Son in my first pack. Like, believe me, that was like a 0.00001% chance. And most people are just going to get absolutely ruined. Like... I just did, so uh, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, Prime Gaming Pack, let's do this. This is probably going to be the best pack. Contains seven gold rare players, two player picks, with a minimum of an 81 plus, 12 consumables, and an Mbappe on loan. Yay. So uh, I think we all know we're going to see a lot of Mbappes this weekend league as a super sub, but also probably going to see him a lot in our objectives as well. Our main player is going to be Latoura Martinez, so I will take that. That's better than all the informs that I got. 85 rated in the club. Probably going to a nice SBC. Same for Kessie, so pretty good there. Uh, let's check on the consumables. We've got a Hunter in there. Would have liked some Shadows. We also get the Mbappe and Andre Silva. So you know what? We actually got some decent fodder out of that pack, which is obviously great to see. Sadly, though, um, the inform packs were not the same. Anywho, we've got two player picks now to do, so let's do the first one. Can we get a decent player? Oh, in there we go. My inform in this pack was better than all of my player pick ones. 
I'll take an untradeable Cranwich. Hopefully he'll have some use in the future. And then we have another one to do. Can we match it or at least better that Cranwich pack? Let's go. Come on. What we got here? Special card, please. Not to be, but you know what? We'll take Kunde back into the club because he's a very good player. So guys, that was a couple of the teams we took. Team of the what? Team of the week? Team of the week upgrade packs and also my Twitch Prime Gaming pack. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do. Likes, ratings, all that good stuff. Let me know what you got in the comments too. There's a playlist on the screen now. Take your pick and hopefully you found a video that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.